Hi everyone, it's Michelle Green with HR Realtors, and today I want to talk to you about the difference between a short sale versus an REO or bank-owned property foreclosure. So a short sale is when a seller falls behind on their mortgage or needs to sell their mortgage short of what they owe is technically why it's called a short sale. Um, typically, in order for the bank to work with you to do it as a less than what you owe sale, a short sale, you do have to be behind on your mortgage, however. So what happens is you'll call a realtor, we'll reach out to your lender, make them aware of the situation, and find out if they will approve you doing a short sale. And then we list the home at a more attractive price based on the condition of the home. And the bank then steps in as the seller, essentially, as far as paying commission and taking care of the other costs involved in the transaction. Um, it is damaging to your credit, unfortunately, but it's not as damaging as an REO or a complete foreclosure. So once you get the approval on the contract from the bank, it typically takes 90 to 120 days for that sale to be completed. So that's a short sale. Um, and an advantage for a homeowner is you get to remain in the home typically. Now, if it's a bank owned home or foreclosure or REO, all reference terms that people may have heard of, that is when the mortgage holder falls behind on their mortgage and the seller um, is not reaching out to the bank or making attempts to sell or to um, rectify being behind. The bank will then auction the home or take the loan back at a certain point point and make you vacate the property. When that happens, they do typically either sell it through auction or through an agent listed as a foreclosure or a bank-owned property. Um, as a homeowner, you would like to avoid that if you can. It does do more damage to your credit, unfortunately. So my advice to you is if you're looking at either one of these as a potential option as a seller, you should reach out to your current mortgage holder immediately and see if they can help you modify your loan or if there's anything you can do to save your home so you don't have to lose it or have to do a short sale. As a buyer, an advantage to purchasing these homes is typically you do get a deal. Um, sometimes they're not as good of a deal as you may think. So you need to make sure you still have a home inspection. You do your due diligence as a buyer. Um, when you buy a bank loan, especially, it is a very much buyer beware contract. So you want to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Um, but that is the difference between a short sale and a foreclosure. And I'm happy to show you either if you're on the market looking. And if you're a seller that would like to talk to us in confidence about your situation, please give us a call and we can help you that way too.